every one of us is on a different journey and those journeys depending on when you started where you started will have have you going through what i would call rites of passage or milestones on your journey that were significant for you which may not be as significant for people today if you were to start your journey today from the position that you're in today so for me being baptized in the spirit brought me out of a mindset belief system which did not expect to have a relationship with god to hear his voice to be able to have any sort of outworking of the spirit in my life or have a relationship with the holy spirit which was intimate or any of those things so i come from a, a evangelical methodist church which was a bible believing methodist church um and i went into the brethren church neither one of those churches taught us to how to relate to god in the spirit or have a relationship with the holy spirit who's already in us um, and to develop the fruit of the spirit in that relationship so that we became more like god as we grew to understand who god is and how we are now i got baptized in the spirit and it changed me emotionally it dealt with some of my emotional issues enabled me to be able to hear god's voice uh, and have a totally different perspective on the reality of what the christian life was all about that was my journey would i be trying to help people to be baptized in the spirit today in the way i was no because i would hope people today encountering god would encounter god in a, a measure of intimacy that would bring them the fullness of the spirit um in a state of maturity that went beyond so my being baptized in the spirit was because i was extremely immature in my understanding of who i was and what god was all about and therefore that that was a milestone that brought me into a a way of experiencing god differently because i didn't experience god in any physical way or any way that way at all so it changed me in that way then probably you know up to five or six years ago when i would have maybe been praying for people in that way i would have been expecting them to encounter god and receive the fullness of the spirit day one without having to have a extra thing added on um now i'm not saying that people haven't gone through those experiences i'm saying god is those were experiences which i think were in immaturity spiritual gifts are for those who don't operate in their spirit in maturity so i don't need spiritual gifts today because my spirit can do the things that those the spirit can you know because my spirit and the holy spirit are joined joined to the lord one spirit with him so i don't specifically need the spirit to give me gifts although the spirit could if he wanted to do anything and i'm not i wouldn't be close to that reality but i don't need it because i've matured to a state where now i'm experiencing the reality of my spiritual life in the be able to choose and create reality through my sonship that i didn't have then um so i think things have moved um and we are moving towards a more mature state for you know the sons of god if you enjoy these videos would you please take a moment to like comment and subscribe it really does help thank you very much